Hey, what it do, family? Hey, listen, welcome to the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show. It's your girl. Tony it is the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show out this mug, and I appreciate everybody for showing up. First of all, I want to say good morning, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Breakfast and Bud Morning Show. I appreciate everybody for tapping in. Like I said earlier, if you're on the way to work, man, get there safe. You know what I'm saying? If you're at work right now, fuck them folks. Tune them out. Talk to me. Talk to Tootie. Now I'm just playing. But y'all, we finna talk about this Remy and this Pat Poos. Um, I got to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Lil Kiki came in a bit. Hold on, Lil Kiki. Lil Kiki, you already on my list. You go to two to three. Let me get you up here on here, Lil Kiki. Um... But on some real shit, I want to talk about it. Now, there's been a lot, a lot of um, people who've been pretty much trying to read in between the lines of what happened with Remy and Papu, Papoos. And now, the thing that's so crazy is because there's somebody who we used to consider black love. But, I mean, now I think that shit is a facade. All of the people who we were saying was black love, just Beyonce had lemonade, Jada out here fucking August, got this man crazy as fuck, you feel me, Pat Poose and this nigga, you know what I'm saying, and this lady. Now, it, it's crazy because um, we haven't heard anything from Pat, really. We haven't really heard anything from Remy. We've been just seeing a lot of movement between both parties, you feel what I'm saying? Now, um, Remy has been dating easy to block captain now um i watch i'm a big fan of like battle rap so that's the only reason why i knew who he was you feel i'm gonna be honest with you he kind of looked like pap <laughs> he kind of looked like pap no cap he looked like pap or whatever but even then it was really quiet and everybody was like yo remy wrong yo she dropping out with this nigga she with this nigga blasey blah this and this and that now it was also alleged that papoose had knocked this nigga ass out you feel me? And now today that has been confirmed because it was a lot of people that was talking about it, but neither Pap nor Remy had said anything about it. Now, last night around three, four, no, it was about four o'clock because I was up um, and I follow Pap and Remy, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. I just started following um, Papu's alleged girlfriend, even though he got a wife. You know what I'm saying? I just had finished. Uh, I just started following her so I can get all the tea. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run you through the timeline of everything that happened. Then I'm open up these phone lines because I got some questions. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to certain things, when it comes down to women and shit like this. Now, it started with this um, last night. This was the first thing that Remy had posted. Um, she posted a... Um, uh, some screenshots of Papu saying like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. I've been quiet for all this time. I'm not finna be quiet no more. Blah, blah, blah. Now this look like this needs to be, you know, this look like this is, um, actually a conversation between Papoose and his now girlfriend. Now his girlfriend is one of the, the dopest boxing champions in the world. I think everybody know who Clarice is. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I guess Papoose fell asleep in a house. Now, a lot of people is like, why the fuck is you in Remy's house? Now, listen, let's not do this. These people were married. It's their house that they share. Um, if they have not came to an agreement with a divorce, I'm pretty sure they haven't came in with agreement with the house. But a lot of people is like, he shouldn't be there. You know, blah, blah, blah this and that. Listen, it's both of their house. And so they go through a divorce proceeding. <laughs> you feel me? It's both of their house. So we're just going to leave it like that. But anyway, he fell asleep in their house. Okay. And I guess when he fell asleep, even though Remy has a man, she took it upon herself to go through his phone. Now, in here was the conversation between um, his alleged girlfriend, Clarice, and Papoose. Now, she's on here, and she's like, you take accountability. They was having a little argument. You are the one who is married, okay? If you can't at least sleep on the phone with me or be with me in person, it should be a big deal to let me know you made it home safe or to communicate you fell asleep in the Sprinter. After the office, I'm going to a Christmas party at the office. The CEO asked me to come last week. You don't, um, you don't know that, do you? Pop, I don't care. You don't have to tell me anything. So then he went on to say, now this was before, this was with Remy. Um, she, uh, so Remy went on to say, let me put it in order for you. <clears throat> She said, this lady Clarice, uh, Clarissa Shields uh, and that sorry-ass publicity team been putting out fake stories on me every day to make me look bad and him look good like God's gift for too long. I begged Papoose to put out something to stop the narrative. And he kept telling me just to stay quiet. That's the best thing to do. Well, I'm tired. 
Oh, and he said he would never fuck your uh fuck you cause you're ugly. But don't worry, I saw everything. Now the world gonna see it since you so tough, boo. Now, a lot of people was questioning, like, why the fuck is this lady, why would Remy go off on her? You feel what I'm saying? Blasey blah, a lot of people didn't get it. A lot of people felt like that she was taking some L's. You feel what I'm saying? So then, um, Remy says something like this, Pap, since when, since when you let both of your phones die and don't call me? Get up. I know you hate the internet games, but you need to do something today about this girl. My PR team going to freak out when they see this. I can't be up there exposing her, etc. before December 25th in the movie coming out because Ryan Destiny is playing a movie with her. Okay. Um, you got your other phone yet? Laughing out loud. Don't worry. I'm not worried about nothing she say or put in her story. I just need you to clear it up at uh, soon as. So Remy said, Pat Pooch, you fucking dummy. Hey, Miss Shields, he took your advice, but not before I screenshot your convo. Oh, he was getting me arrested. The woman that never fucked off on him in 17 years while plotting with one of his chicks to try to destroy me. The same woman that could have been used to my platform to expose you. I got all your pics and messages from chicks while I was away and he was holding me down. Fuck your movie, ma. <laughs> now you know Remy is a little petty, but this is one thing that's gonna be different. Remy, you can't fight her. You're gonna have to probably shoot her once again because this bitch is knocking almost niggas out. So don't just fight her regular. You feel what I'm saying? So Papu says, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Papu says, I would never get anyone arrested. Once again, you are lying. That can easily be verified. You are the one who play with police. Lying about history that unfolded in front of the world is pathetic. Falsifying text messages that you claim are from over a decade ago just to create a false narrative and justify cheating is narcissistic behavior. OK, that's what the fuck. Sad to say that Remy Ma is a narcissist. She chose to cheat repeatedly. Now that I finally moved on, she's playing the victim. I have requested a divorce numerous times. She rather clout chase on social media than handle this like civilized adults. I did not want to do the social media foolishness for the sake of my six year old baby. She has to go to school. As you can see, I remain quiet through it all. Now, I do want to quit. I want to uh, specify something on this. Um, he said he requested a divorce. I want people to understand that there is a difference between requesting and filing. Okay, let's just be real. I just got to point it out as I go along. I'm on nobody's side. I just got to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? Now, asking her for a divorce is one thing. But going to the courthouse to file is another thing. Now, he does not need Remy's signature to file. I looked it up, okay? He don't need her signature to file. Now, he would need her signature to complete the divorce proceedings. But if he wanted to file and he really wanted to be over with, you know what I'm saying? He would have filed. He wouldn't have requested. There's no need to ask no more. You feel me? If you're done with it, she got a nigga she's walking around with who look like you and trying to be you. Uh, no more requesting. Go down there and file. You feel me? That's just all I'm trying to say. You feel me? So um, let me see if I make sure. So Pat Poos, he went on um, to show that on Monday, December 25th at 10.34 p.m. last year, this was her with the dude on Christmas. Pat Poos said, well, I'm at home with our child. You taking Christmas photos with this blockhead ass nigga. That's what Pap said. It ain't me. It's what Pap said. Now I'm finna get into these other messages. Now Pat Poo said, um, it was not the fact that this nigga slept with his wife that pissed him off. He said it was the fact that the nigga shook his hand and then slept with his wife. Now I can understand the principle for that. But then Remy came back and she snapped back. And she said, oh, hold on, goddamn. She said, oh, we talking about. People shaking hands and shit before everything. Blah, zee, blah, this and this and that. So then what she did was she took to her, her, uh, her story and she showed that Clarice, in fact, did the same shit. And um, this is what she posted. And she pretty much just showed, you know what I'm saying, that Clarice was hitting her January 4th at 1055. And this would have been after Christmas. So they was both playing childish ass games at this point. But Remy went to her phone and she showed that Clarice was actually a fan of hers, hitting her up for uh, for, for clothing uh, advice and things like this. I want to wear some clothes the week of my fight that's memorable. 
All of this type of shit. So Remy hit her back and said, hey, sis, I got you. She sent her some snapshots, blasey blah, this and this and that. And that was basically just to be able to say, Pap, hold on. If you're going to be talking about principles, let's talk about your bitch, which I can totally understand that. However, there is going to be a different code expressed, I feel, from women and men. And I feel like they should both be applied. A lot of people, people feel like the girl code is completely different. And I don't feel like that. Principle is principle. You know what I'm saying? Now, the difference is he was, Eric was physically in Papoose's face and shook his hand. I get that. This was Instagram, but still, I feel like it still holds the same weight. That's just my personal opinion. Y'all let me know how y'all feel down in the comments section. Tell me how y'all feel about that. Now, um, from that, you know what I'm saying or whatever. I'm just catching y'all up on everything before we move the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, uh. Remy and the and the, uh, and the the wife and the girlfriend is going back and forth. So Clarissa, the goat shield, said, "I can't believe a forty-five year old woman is crashing out like this. Clown behavior." Okay, but I will also say, kind of be cool, be calm, be collected. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. You know what I'm saying? Because you was just begging this man to sleep on the phone with you at your grown ass at your grown ass age too. So I'm just saying, like it could go both ways. But let's keep going. Um, she also said, then to Remy is lying. So she said, Remy is lying. And let me be honest. Let's be honest, women. When we get our man, you feel me? That pillow talk be something real. So, of course, we going to text what the niggas say at face value before the female. It's just the way that it is. I don't know why, but it is. Um, and then she said, then Remy says, I'm not 45 yet, but you are 29. And I'll just say this. You're not aging like wine. Again, though, I'm not your enemy. Tell your boyfriend buy you some flowers and gifts. And he didn't answer any of his phones because he was with his Cali girl this week. So she going crazy. You know what I'm saying? She already done told the girl that, you know what I'm saying, Papoose thinks she's ugly. And I mean, she was on the messages begging, uh, begging for flowers and shit from Papoose or whatever. So then Clarissa said, you making fake texts is crazy. I'm not a bitch you can bully. You're bitter and mad. You're making yourself look stupid. Just stop it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know why Remy would fake all of that. However, you know what I'm saying? Clarissa would knock a bitch out. So, Remy, you might have to grab the strap. But let's keep going. She said, misery loves company, baby. Shaking my head. I'm just so happy over here. So, she says she happy with Pap. <laughs> Regardless that he's still married and he ain't falling asleep on the phone with her right now at this moment. You feel me? So look, it gets worse. We're not even finishing yet. Um, we got that. Let me see. I can't believe the 41-year-old. All right, so I think we got everything as of right now. Now listen, the thing that is so crazy is that it's been rumored that while Remy was doing her bid, that Papoose hold her, held her down. Now, a lot of men feel like women can't even do that. They feel like they women, they go to jail, they women is going to do what they do on the outside. There's a lot of people who has mixed, excuse me, y'all, has mixed feelings, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, about him, um, about her, him holding her down. Damn, it's so much shit. So, I want to know, um, and then uh, Papoose went on to say, I got to put this in here, because there was a lot of talk about um, him and um, Eric the Block Captain. About him knocking him out and all this type of shit. Now, I was another rapper named Geechee. I was watching that battle, and Geechee did the whole play by play of what happened. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever between uh, Pat and, 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 <laughs> and Easy to Block Captain. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? On the flip side of shit, you know what I'm saying? It was never really addressed. But Pat Poos did address that shit today and said, look, he knocked this nigga the fuck out. He said, I knocked this nigga the fuck out. And Remy, you trying to make me lie about knocking this nigga the fuck out. But I knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? And I knocked him out based on principle. So now with all of that being said, and I think that I really caught y'all up on everything. I want to know, um, is there a right in this particular situation? You know what I'm saying? This is a very, very ugly thing. They do have a child that's about to greatly celebrate a birthday. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even going to lie. I didn't really want... Um, I really didn't want to see this between Pap and Remy. I think they had did really good navigating and shit, but now it's fucked up. So now I'm finna open up these lines and I got a question. 
my question is, um, who do y'all think cheated first? <laughs> and I got some more questions throughout this motherfucker too as well. And I'm gonna I'm gonna test the minds of some of you women or whatever. And I really want to see where you're thinking. But how do you feel about this particular situation? Do you believe in this particular case that Papoose may be right? Now, this is what I will say. Um, regardless of what agreement they came to terms with, we did see Remy popping out. With uh, we did see Remy popping out with Eric the Block Captain first. A lot of people, even when they seen Remy popped out, was like, "Look, she ain't just gonna be popping out over this unless it's a reason." It's been alleged that he been fucking since she's been in jail, but he was never caught for. It. Now, um, the number, the, uh, the lines is up six seven eight two three five four three three eight. Um, the thing that I don't like about the about a particular situation is the fact of the matter that. Um, I just hate when 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 people have done so good keeping their business out of the in, out of the the industry, it gets worse. And I, I can't stand that for neither one of them. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking ugly. It's terrible. I just don't even understand that. Um, Clarissa did post something earlier saying Clarissa Shields versus Remy Ma, February second. Come get your ass whooped. Crash out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I pay cash money for that fight. You know what I'm saying? I really really would. But you know, at the same time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Clarissa will root Remy's ass. But when it come down to street shit, it ain't no rules. So Remy might just uh bust a cap it. So look, I'm about to I'm about to um uh, open up these phone lines until something else drop. If something else drop, just wait a second before y'all tell me in the chat. Let's go ahead and get everybody up in this motherfucker to talk and see what's going on. Now, um, if you are Remy. Are you giving the girl as much attention? Now, see, the only problem that I have with Remy, and I'm going to tell you. If you and Papoose, uh, or he's still at the house, um, and he's able to fall asleep in the crib, um, and you have a man too. I really don't understand what the, I really don't understand why she would have went through his phone and wondering why, who he's fucking. Um, to me, that's the, that's the only part that seems a little bit bitter. After she popped out with Eric, I mean, he pretty much has the capacity to fuck whoever he wants to. Clarissa, the lady in California, everybody. I feel like you went, you telling um, Clarissa, you know, what he was doing on the side, you did that just to hurt her. I feel like this no longer made it about you. This made it seem like you wanted to hurt another woman because you were mad about something. And let's not, let's be, let's be real. Um, it's not like Pap did not get equivalent. To what, uh, <laughs> to what he had with Remy. Let's be real. Remy is a great rapper, but I don't feel as if um, her rapping keeps her relevant. I think Remy has one of the dopest personalities, and I would like to see that a lot more. But she's a fire rapper too. But I'm just saying, it just don't always. I don't think she always get her flowers. You know what I'm saying for whatever reasons. So to me, I felt like that was some bitter shit. It was no need for you to have to blast who he was fucking with and saying that he was calling her ugly. It's like now nah, you want to intentionally hurt him. Cause let's be real, Eric has been through a lot of metamorphosis since she's been with Remy. You know what I mean? She got his teeth fixed, got braces now. You know what I'm saying? He's getting a lot of brand deals. And I'm not saying that, you know what I mean, it's not something that he's given to her too. But Clarissa is already self-made. You feel me? So it seems like there's a little, little, little bitterness that's going on. So I'm going to open up the phone lines and I want to hear how y'all feel about it. 678-235-4338. Is Remy giving bitter or is Remy giving fed to fuck up? I want to know. Let me know right now. You know what I'm saying? Let me know right now. Hey, no, for real. I was lit as fuck, 2K. I was. I had three glasses of Taylor Port. I was in this bitch tripping. Shout out. Hey, so hit me up. 678-235-4338. Women, preferably. I want to know. You know what I'm saying? Um, Is Remy being bitter right now? Or is Remy just fed the fuck up? I want to know. Y'all hit me up. Hit me up right now. Don't do it in the comments. Call me on the phone. Y'all was the one saying I was going to be here this morning. I'm here. So talk to me. Yeah, talk to me. Good morning, family. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. And yourself, how you doing? Uh, I'm okay. You doing good? I feel like I'm okay. I do feel like she is a little bitter. But I only say that because, listen... Usually, I feel like you can keep quiet if you think you can beat somebody ass. She can't beat her ass. Yeah. So it's like you have no choice but 
look and pop your shit, because what else you going to do? I just need a diss track. <laughs> we can keep it moving, because you cannot beat her up. And I think that makes it hard to just sit and take it. And then she got to talking about, you like, her team probably on her, too. Yeah. Yeah. So she like, I gotta say something. Like, I can't sit back and look like no punk because everybody know I can't beat her up. So it's like, what else do I have? Like, I gotta stick up for myself. Facts. I think it's sad because I feel like they was goals, but like you said, everybody that I thought was goals is not goals no more. Except for like Mo and, and Barack. But like, dang, this is messed up. This is so fucked up. I'm glad you did this because I was waiting on this. Okay. Hell well, yeah. Nope. Know? No problem, Buki. Thank you for calling. No, this is a very critical uh, critical situation because regardless of the fact, you know, a lot of people is like, well, he didn't hold her down the whole eight years. Let's be real. Um, he probably fucked some. I, I, I would think that he probably would have fucked some. But the fact of the matter is whoever was fucking, whoever he did fucked in that era of time when Remy wasn't there. And let's also be real. Let's not make it just seem like he went out. Uh, Remy did give him permission. Like, if you got to slide, slide. I'm in this bitch for eight years. So whatever he did, he at least had enough respect for that shit never to get back. Or at least we didn't know that it got back. Now, a lot of people in New York said it did get back. So it's just a lot of shit we might not know of. You feel me? Good morning, family. Good morning, Pooh. How you doing, Pooh? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. Um, you see what's going on, Shawty. Do you think that Remy is bitter or you think she just fed the fuck up? Remy is better. I think she fed up. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, too. I just don't believe for seven years you didn't do nothing. Like, <laughs> nothing at all. A whole seven years. And then, I think that she came out because if, if we're going to be real, Remy been getting bashed for like, what, the last year or two about Buddy because the recordings and everything came out. We saw all of it. Like, we heard all of it. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like she just came out and was like, okay, now I'm going to switch y'all out because you bold enough to do this shit in my house. Like, you fell asleep in the house on your phone and you heard a girl on the phone. Of course, you're going to pick it up and say something like, who? And it, it's just the, I think the internet is kind of playing both sides of it mm -hmm. because you got people that's kill for pal. You got people that's kill for ready. But what really bad have we heard about pet food like in the last like we've never heard anything bad about him Thanks. and the thing is not saying that he's a bad person but who is 100 percent good all the time true I, up, I just i don't think that either one of them is right that's number one mm -hmm. both of them cheated you mm -hmm. can they both cheetos cheated. they cheetos yeah yes. mm -hmm. both of them mm -hmm. and it's like you got this girl over here and she popping her shit but you popping your shit because you're getting that dick right now but in like a year or so, or a couple months, when he's done with your ass and he's doing something else, then you're going to be looking stupid while you're talking about him, while you're talking about her, and she's still legally married to this man. Like, you can't sit up here and, and you are basically a sad chick and you know it. You know this man come home to her every single night. If he your boyfriend or whatever, or both of y'all got boyfriend and girlfriends, y'all should be split up. Both of them, I think, don't want to leave the relationship. Facts. Because here's the thing. Stay in my baby at all. Don't want to be around, don't want to talk to them, none of that. So I'm not going to even sit in a house, room, anything with somebody I don't fuck with. I'm not even going to be in your vicinity. So the crazy part is both of y'all still there and say that you're there just for what? Because you got a baby together? No. Like, that's not what it is. Both of them are moving. They Both of them moving in their own lives. Facts. Remy doing her shit, he doing his shit. But for the last year or two, we only been hearing about Remy. Oh, Remy this, Remy that, and then you get Papoose, and he's like the perfect person. I think she got tired of shit and was like, okay, y'all think he's so perfect? Let me show y'all. It literally only takes a little bit for somebody to spark. Because if you think about it, say you got some gasoline that's been sitting here for a minute, and you just let it drain, let it drain. But eventually, you get that spark. And that spark could have been her hand and that girl on the phone. And she was like, okay, and you well known too. Oh, no, we can go ahead and talk to you. Because y'all done too much. Like, I feel like that, that's just how I feel about it. I got you, sis. That's a good perspective. Thank you for calling in. All right, thank you, too. I fucks with Remy. And I'm finna get a lot of people yelling at me right now. I, I, that's cool. Um, I think Remy's bitter. I think Remy's bitter. 
I'm not even going to lie. Um, I think she's bitter. I'm looking in between the lines. Granted, you know what I'm saying? Granted, and I'm going to answer your call in a minute. Give me one second. Um, granted, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, I feel like Papoose, Papoose have not been saying anything. But if memory serves me correctly, the first person that brought it to the internet was Eric the Block Captain. Because he could not wait to tell somebody that he was fucking Remy. Um, I think he was the one that got it out. That's the only reason why I feel like um, Remy is mad at the wrong nigga right now. Um, he was the one that jump started this shit. All on the phone, pillow talking, you know what I'm saying, and all of that shit. He couldn't wait to expose that that was his girl. And I feel like because of that, Papoose knocked his ass out. But see, that's never, never here or there. Um, what I feel like where I have the problem is, is this, okay? Um, we're at home. We're not together. But nigga, we both stubborn. Nigga, this is my house too. Nigga, this is my house too. But then we both be in this motherfucker then. Cool. Okay? I feel like they been doing each other. You feel me? I really do. Um, I just don't understand the reason to single just Clarissa out. And that's where my problem is, okay? You're saying that she's not the only one. So did you send these... DMs and did you send this shit to everybody else? That's what I do ag ag agree with Clarissa on. It's like my nigga, okay, you're telling me that he don't like me like that. That he don't want to fuck with me like that. That I'm ugly. You're telling me this. You're also telling me that I'm not the only one. You're also telling me that this a bitch in Cali. Why are you telling me this? Why me? See, that's what makes me feel like she got a problem. And I think the problem is, is because when she look at Clarice, she's like, oh, shit, this right here just might be competition. Let's be real, shawty. We've all been in relationships and shit, and we are stunning on a nigga we done broke up with. And to that motherfucker got a girl. What? That's when the shit hit the fan. Now, if that girl is below our caliber, we don't give two fucks about it. We don't care about that bitch. We ah. And we still doing us. But the moment that we break up with a nigga, straight up, you know what I'm saying? And that nigga has leveled up to a point where we can look that bitch in the face and be like, oh, shit. Huh. She ain't that ugly and shit. That's when the shit hit the fan. And I'm going to be just like, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real with you. That's the point that I don't like. It's like this became... You being you 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 not being mad at Papoose no more to the transference of energy to the bitch. Why? You got a whole nigga you been fucking with too. So why are you mad that he fell asleep on the phone with a bitch? Regardless of who house he in. Nigga, we didn't see you were easy to block captain for almost a whole year. The fuck? You mean to tell me it's rules to the shit? <laughs> like nigga, y'all both Cheetos and it's rules to it? Nah, that's not even adding up. Let's take it a step further. He fell asleep on the phone. You crept wherever that nigga was asleep at, picked up the phone and was like, hello? Why, Remy? I want to know. Because that shit lame as hell to me. What would be the reason to talk to the bitch? Well, you got a man. This man getting his teeth fixed for you. He all on Tubi. Eric the Block Captain. So that's where it makes me seem like it's bitter. Because why are you attacking this female? Because this female is just like this other nigga. Y'all both let these motherfuckers into y'all houses. Nobody can get into the house unless y'all let the door open. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all left the door open. Both of y'all niggas. But whilst you are letting this girl know, oh yeah, he calling you ugly and all that type of shit. What the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to know. So y'all hit me up now. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to get that out before I get the phone call because y'all know I be smoking the shit and I been forgot. So y'all hit me up right now, man. I think she bitter than a motherfucker. Remy, you want your, you want your husband back. Get him back. Get him back, Remy. Because regardless of the fact of if that man did cheat on you in eight years, you already said out your own mouth, you gave him the pass to do so. And at least the media never heard shit about no bitch. I can say that part. Shit, I ain't heard nothing. Y'all heard? <laughs> Maybe I got to be in New York to hear. Good morning, family. Hey, man. Come out and talk it. Hey, Pookie. Hey, Pookie. I love you. I'm talking, goddamn. I'm, I miss you, girl. Let me tell you. I miss you too, but man. That table for here, you told me what you were saying. Don't ever bring none. They bring you some water. Uh-uh. Nigga, I was lit. Let me tell you. Can I explain something to you before you go off on me? Go ahead. All right, look. 
before I got on live, right, me and Bella had did mad videos. You understand me? And we had mm -hmm. been drinking. So when I got on live, I was already tipsy as fuck. You feel me? But I wouldn't even fade it like that. Do you know how many bottles are done? But that Taylor just had me floating. But anyway, I don't give a fuck. What you think? That put the icing on the cake. Hell yeah, that Taylor you was. Over there going out. And you, you, let me tell you, and don't get mad. was just trying to hear. Let me tell you something. I don't not care. Not. Listen, I'm back again. I'm standing on everything. Y'all don't hear Sally yell at me every day. Y'all don't. So I don't care about nothing y'all talking about, folks. Y'all don't, boy, I swear to God, but I don't care about none of that shit y'all talk about. I'm standing on business. Let me, all right, bro, let me go to the next topic. You ain't lying, though, too. Let me tell you. First of all, Papoose and um, Remy is fucking. We already know that. Yeah. Let's keep that real. Like, that's why she's upset and she's mad. Yep. Now, who, who, she, who he meant to with is the problem. Yep. She don't like that. Nope. And, and, and like you said, she's competition her. Yep. He gonna get triggered. When, when a woman come around, just be real, when a woman come around, we know, oh, baby, he got competition with them. Hell yeah. I'm gonna destroy everything going on because I, I still want you, you still mine, you still mine. Like, that ant plan is mine. Like, I don't want this. Like, Period. When you, when you talking to them busted ass women, it's cool because I know you ain't gonna leave. Exactly. But it, Period. And y'all would have been good. Period. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they still messing around. And what's happening is her ego is triggered. And she's scared that she really going to lose him, man. Because you're going to do anything to take, uh, run her away. But I don't think that girl going to go nowhere. Now listen. Let me, let, me, let me take it a step further, too, while you're here. It's like this. Mm -hmm. You got to know that Papoose really still love Remy not to leave because let's not be real Clarice is a mil nigga one fight gave her a milli he could leave and go live with Clarice right now if he wanted to you feel what I'm saying so the fact that he's hanging on makes me feel like he, he still do love Rem but it lets me also know that Rem know it's some comp it's some comp because not only has Remy had the motherfucking she didn't have the type of character and the type of image of being a bad girl Clarice is a bad girl She's a yeah. bad girl, too. That's the problem right there. That's because it. In the end of the day, yo, we know that he loves, but when a man is done, because they intake them long to be done. We, we already mentally checked out. Facts. But when a man is done, bro, you can't come back from that because let's be for real. They might, even though, like like you said, he probably did, did dip and dab in different little places while she was gone, but that's what they agreed upon at that time. It really didn't matter. Yeah, he still got loyalty with her, but at some point, it's gonna get it's gonna get real messy because now it's like you're all it takes is one person. And she got, and she, she, and she's gonna have to embarrass folks now because right now Rim is looking a little crazy. But the quote nigga don't be. Facts. But that's good, all I had to say. Good perspective, boo. Love you. Bye. Um, 2K, I'm going to add your ass in a little bit because um, that man do love her. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I know that man love her. When a nigga's fed up with a bitch, he ain't finna be there. And being the fact that he's still in that household has nothing to do with the child. Nothing. Nothing, absolutely. Y'all don't care about that shit. Let's be real. Let's call a spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever like this. That nigga is still there with the hopes. With the hopes. You know what I'm saying? That that family could have rectified. It ain't going to do it now. But he was there with the hopes of that shit. Otherwise, God bless the child that got his own. Period. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, listen. 
I hear what you're saying. You saying that man don't love her, bro. Let me ask you something. What man do you know, alpha male, that is going to stay in a home with a female, alpha female like Remy? So you know the conversation is not going to be timid. Okay, it's going to be certain uh -huh. shit that niggas going to be saying left way, right way and all of that type of shit. You're not going to make me believe that that nigga will stay there and endure bullshit. Because if you look at some of the text messages that's flying out right now, I can only imagine what Remy said to this nigga verbally. You feel me? Right. What man is going to stay in a home and endure that when he could be a in his own spot? Be set up even even more lovely with the next bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just please enlighten me on this shit. Please let me know. Okay. Okay. So first of all, good morning. Good morning. I, 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 I ain't speak to him. All right. Remember, remember, I was just saying the other day about how it's easier to be an in-house dad than the one that got to stay down the street. Come thirty minutes over there, it, it take a while, right? Facts. So, this this tied me into that message, and I'm glad I had this conversation over here. Because I'd rather be in-house. See, he don't love Remy, but he's still respectful. Because when, if you ever been there and seen a woman have a baby, you got an underlying respect for this woman that you would never, ever give up, no matter what she did to you because of what she went through at birth. Okay. That man respected that woman. Granted, I can get he's that. There, he's there to be in his kid's life day in and day out until he can't no more. He don't love her, and let me tell you how I know. Okay, because there is a difference between love and in love, and a man can love a woman. In that same magnitude because the level of respect is that high. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to understand. Now, I'm not saying that he's in love, but he still loves her in a way to where he's willing to oh, put up with certain you. shit. But go keep but, but keep going. You saying so you don't feel like the love you talking about is like nigga is done, is raps. It's a rap. He's okay. love for Facts. He still he still he still lies to her. Facts. I, I, I love. Facts. Facts. But he's not in love with her. And let me tell you, bro, this, if you ever want to know if your dude done with you, this is how you do it. If the next girl he talk to can beat you up, that's how you know for a fact he don't want you no more. Yo, it's crazy that shit sound. I hate sometimes that I, f I fuck with both worlds because I know exactly what you mean. Swear to God. I don't. I did. Bro, that, that is a fact. That's a fact. My wife never cheat on me with a nigga who she know I can't beat up. Because that's when the relationship oh. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. No. Yo, it, 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 it sounds crazy as hell, but that's a fucking Fendi. That is a Fendi fact. That is a fucking... <laughs> that shit is a fucking Fendi fact. So let me ask you another question then. Do you think that Remy was bitter the way that she's addressing Shawty. I mean, let, let me ask you something. What would be the reason, in your personal opinion, to where Remy would go after this bitch? Go out, I mean, excuse me, y'all. Go after Clarice. I, my, my, my reason is, first of all, you women are just like this, okay? They don't want you, but they don't want nobody else to have me. That's y'all, too. I'm, no, I, listen, if I was over and done with you... I don't care about who you with next. Women just want to see you suffer long term. Now let like, me let me explain something to she you. She don't love. She ain't love that nigga in a while, but she don't want him to be in love. Let me tell you something now. But see, this is a thing that's gone. That, that the difference between men and women that you're going to have to understand. The same way how you say that there are men who rather be in-house fathers because 30, mi 30 minutes down the road might be too much. Let me explain something to you about women, though. Women, we check out mentally before we ever do physically. So, you, so, so what we seeing with Remy probably was two years removed. And that's the difference between men and women. We can be in a whole household functioning like functioning addicts and been and checked out mentally. See, that's the difference between men. Y'all check out physically. We check out here. And and, and that's going to be something that's going to always differ between us. You feel me? Like, I think as a species. I, I, really, I, I blame Pat Poos, but for, for, for the relationship ending, and it's only because... I you say like you blame Pat Poos for the relationship ending? Yeah. He was too supportive. <laughs> 
<laughs> this nigga. <laughs> hey, Shawty, listen. Let, let me just do a public service announcement, Shawty. Like, like no, listen. This nigga 2K, listen, bro. Don't hate 2K. 2K is Kevin Samuels. Re listen, long live relative. He'll piss some of y'all off, but it, a lot of shit he say. Well, also has some value, so listen to it. But how you say, Papa? Just explain it, 2K. I need to hear this shit. <laughs> care too much. Like, just love like a peace sign. Somebody gotta be up and somebody gotta be down, okay? Papoose, he was, he, he was everything she asked for. You can't give a woman what she asked for. Women like to be on their toes. Women like resistance. As much as y'all hate it, y'all love it. The minute you become complacent, you boring. You ready to move on to the next thing. This is Pat Fu's fault. When he, when he went to jail for six years and he put his dick on life, I knew the relationship was over with me. Because you think she wasn't getting her, 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 her carpet months sold in jail? <laughs> she just out here celibate. I knew it was over there. Hey, damn them motherfuckers I'ma cut the phone line. I ain't because listen, no listen, listen, listen. All right, y'all hear me out. It's fucked up as it may seem. I'ma be real. I hate this nigga sometimes because by me dating women, there are there are there are certain aspects that I get to understand from a man's point of view. I'm not even lying to you. I've had a female dump me countless of times. Because I was a good person. It wasn't until I was a cheater. A serial cheater. Where I feel like the women love me most. And it sounds weird as fuck. Now growth is going to teach you something different. But if if, if, if I'm being honest. Some women hate complacement. They hate it. They get bored real quick if they're in a relationship or in a routine. I can honestly say that. And I hate this nigga. I hate that I even got to agree with this shit with this nigga. But it is the truth. I feel like sometimes that's why that's one of the main reasons why people label Russell Wilson corny. Because, nah, he, he corny, he corny. man, 2K, don't make me get to arguing with you. This nigga's nowhere near corny. Okay. okay. He's nowhere okay. near corny. Okay. But listen, you, you, listen, it, yeah. Watch what a woman watch, okay? If she watch love and hip hop, they throwing water on each other all over the table, all about niggas. It's part to her that likes that. If you cheat on her, that make her feel like she on love and hip hop. Yo, shut your ass up, bro, over my phone, bro. Yo, if you don't shut your ass up, man, you sound crazier than a motherfucker, too. Are you serious? So you mean, bro, 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 I would love to interview your wife. I swear to God. So let me ask you something, 2K, because this is some crazy ass shit you be spewing, bro. And and I ain't even gonna lie, you know how Lil Nas X used to aggravate the internet. Like I love to watch it because you they be so mad. Listen, listen, listen. Don't be mad. This coming from a male perspective. And it's some of y'all niggas, some of y'all women got men at the career right now who think just like this nigga. I'm trying to tell you that love all aspects of the, is this species. I'm just the one that's gonna say it, though. Yo, listen. So let me ask you something. You really think that women? It is it, it is it is a motivation for women to get cheated on. You think that drives a woman to get cheated on and be hurt? It it don't. What well, it do drive? It, it because first of all, for a woman that that used to think she's perfect, this is the first time that she's out of her element. Like, what's wrong with me? So it upgrades the woman. It make her get on her shit. She are, this, this, this is the first time a woman really evaluates herself when another woman gets the leg up on her. This sounds crazy, but it is true. I know, I know, I'd be mad too if I was a dude. No, I'm mad at the world. I'm, I'm, I'm mad because I'm trying to figure out the type of women you dated, 2K. Because oh, listen, yeah, listen, listen, listen. I understand and I recognize there is just certain dynamics of man that the nigga's not going to understand. But what you're saying is completely obtuse as fuck. My nigga, a woman, a woman will love a man completely better. And I'm, and I'm being honest with you. 
will love a man in a, in a capacity that you would never understand if she feel like there is a hundred percent loyalty versus the woman who's been hurt. Now, see, this is the thing we all confuse. Y'all confuse that love mechanism with weakness sometimes and thinking that it's something that we have to hold on to. No. See, that's the one that's the love part that be have that be goddamn coming through for y'all asses, bro. And see, this is the thing. Y'all are so fucking crazy to think that the strings you play is what makes a woman dance. Are you fucking serious right now? I really would love to know. Three, I would really love to interview three women that you dated in your life. Because there is I'm no way in the you, fucking I'm world. Kidding. I guarantee you they all give me glare requests. <laughs> I'm I, 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 I serious. Like, uh, like, if I had to have a, a relationship resume, my overall decided that one cheek I burnt, uh, it, it'll be good. See, you know, you you know what it is. I, you know what I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what I think it is with with men like you, and I'm, it's not a bad thing because the one thing I do admire about you is I love honesty, and I think relationships should even have should have that, regardless of the fact, even if it hurts your feelings. I feel like if you're gonna be in a relationship, honesty is the best policy. And sometimes I'm gonna be real with you. Women don't really like to know a man's thoughts because if they knew a man's thoughts a lot of the times. There will probably be no women dating these niggas. Swear to God, you know what I mean. But I do respect your honesty or whatever. But what I but what I don't but what I don't what I do think is I think because <clears throat> you've cheated before and you broke the cop and, and you broke the covenant and everything. I feel like you're looking for anything to justify. That that being why you were imperfect. See, this is the thing. I think when men no, let me tell you something. Then hear me out. I think when men finally get to a certain point where he feel like he's ready to settle down with a woman, this man probably feel like he's in a position to where like I, right, this is my law. This is the way it's gonna be. He feel just the way you feel like a woman is perfect. A man do the same shit. It's the same shit, bro. And I feel like once you cheated. And you became tarnished. Now you're trying to justify. And you're blaming the woman. For your no. motherfucking wrongdoing. Two, I told you. I told you this. And I hate what niggas do it. You can never make me go out and cheat. There is nothing that you can say that make me go put my penis in another woman. This is my body, my choice. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare give a woman that type of... Uh, 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 I don't know the word for it. I, I wasn't there to give her that type of guilt or uh, let her think she led me into getting on somebody else. No. It, my, I want to get horny for who I like. So if, if I didn't get, like, you can't make me do this. So no, I, I, I would never, and if a dude ever told you he cheated because you did something, that nigga was lying. He cheated because his dick was hard and he wanted to cheat. So let me ask you something. Was there? It was nothing absolutely going on in the relationship at all. You just decided to say, even though I'm this is my wife and and I don't want to hurt my wife. You feel me? I'm still finna go over here and get some pussy. That was you, right? Yeah, it's because we don't because we don't think about it like that. G. Like we 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 think about it like the percentages. Okay, I get like, that, but but why do y'all think about it once you see the tears? Because see, once the tears he, come, that's what shape y'all. So why you have to wait till you see tears and heartbreak before you understand what the fuck you did? I just don't get that. Because naturally, we did nothing wrong. We was born to do this. <laughs> what hurts you? I'm seriously like, bro, this we we literally born to hurt. What hurts us is that we hurt too. That's why some dudes cheat over and over and over because in his head he's not doing nothing wrong. The only thing he did wrong is get caught and hurt too. I'm you, these are no, I, you know what? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You know what? I'm not naive to what you're saying because I, I really feel like there is probably forty eight percent of men who feel like this, and that's what's so crazy about this shit. Like, I know a lot of people's getting mad at you, but listen, I know a lot of people's probably getting mad at you right now, but I won't say forty eight percent, but it's probably twenty seven percent of men that feel this way. Swear to God, it's in the nineties. You don't know. 
you first of all, you don't know a woman that ain't been cheated on, and you don't know a nigga that's been faithful all his life. You tell me a hundred percent. Name these niggas too. But I can't. You talking about people that I know? You talking about people that I know? The people that you know. Name, name one woman who you don't know that's been cheated on, and name one dude you don't know who ain't never cheated. I couldn't do that, bro. You couldn't. So y'all telling me that I'm wrong when in reality that's more wrong than reason. Damn. Ain't no female in this chat ain't been cheated on. So put it down in the comments. If you're a female in the chat that haven't been cheated on. They can't they been cheated on. They can't be here last. Is that normal to us? Well, we got one person that says she has not. I have been. Okay, so listen. I, okay, I can dig what you said right there. I, I mean, yeah, you got to the bottom of the ocean with that shit. But just like how you said, this is where I see, this is where it's crazy to me. Because just like how you said that there is a choice. You said your wife couldn't argue with you, belittle you, could do he, she couldn't do anything that'll make you go and stick your dick in. Why is there exclusion of the choice before you go fuck somebody? You want your wife to be able to make a choice. Now hear me out, because last time you talked, I didn't you you want your wife to be able to make a choice to choose the family. Once you went out and strayed, because you were a hunter. You feel me? So you come back home, dirty dick and all, and now you want her to be able to make a logical choice for the family. Why is it that you guys act like y'all don't understand what decision making is prior to going to fuck? I don't get that. Y'all act so woke and y'all act so woke and so smart, but you can't make a choice before you leave the house? Because here's the thing, bro. You got to get up, wash your dick off, because you want to be fresh going to get the other bitch. If you, if you, depending on, you know what I'm saying? You got to get in the car, start it up. You got to stop and get some rubbers, hopefully. So you got all of these times, nigga, to where you can make a logical choice, whoa, whoa, but you just whoa, choose whoa. not to. What? Oh, so you ain't even getting rubbers. Huh? Listen, man, nigga. <laughs> hey, ugh, conversation, ugh. Like, the whole room smelling like on rivals. Bro, it's no way in the world you had this conversation with your wife, bro. <laughs> and y'all still <laughs> married, bro. <laughs> You know, cause like after so long, bro, I'm pr like I don't live this lifestyle anymore. But I, I remember it vividly. You know what I'm saying? Like I can tell you about all the experiences. I can tell you the truth why not living that lifestyle. Like just because I I fix on the stages now, don't mean I didn't learn by fixing on box settings. Like Dude. I, I can tell you the experiences. So like as long as I'm not living that life no more, it's cool. So you feel like, so let me ask you something, um, with everything that's happened so far, you a man, mm -hmm. you a hunter, once a hunter, always a hunter, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, so not always a hunter, that, that's just what you're wrong. Okay, so you feel like now you've been reformed, your hunting, your, mm -hmm. your, your hunting gear is up, because... We, 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 we fight battles, it's, it's, bro, it's, and this, this ain't me, this every dude, this is a daily challenge. <laughs> This is a daily challenge. Especially like when you got something going, like I make over a hundred kids, you know. Uh it's, it's I'm I'm sought after. You I can take care of you and your whole family. Oh, so my, so you say you you say you're sought after. Yeah, a lot of dudes think if your dude ain't never got, got the opportunity love this nigga. because nobody wants to cheat with. Yo, yo, so 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 you think and and I mean, so basically, if you were to relapse and you were to uh, cheat on your wife again, hypothetically, you wouldn't really call it cheating. It was just you had to hunt. Yeah, I wasn't cheating until I got caught. Like, this is, this is what it is. Uh, it ain't cheating until you get caught. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Bro, dog, I fucking love the way you piss the whole world off, Shawty. You could piss the world off in two two sentences, two K. Okay? You got these fucking females mad as hell. Hey, listen, I finna open up these phone lines and I finna so you can call so they can call in. They finna call in right now. Listen, get in the comments, two right. K. Okay? <laughs> 
Hey, y'all be want to fight 2K so bad. But here's the thing. Some of y'all are with 2Ks right now. And you don't even know it. <laughs> Dead ass fucking see is hell nah, y'all. Listen. Listen. That man said what he said. He said he's alpha warrior. Now hit me up, y'all. 6 7 8 2 3 5 4 3 3 8. Y'all heard his perspective. Don't get mad. Get educated. Let's 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 talk. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, y'all don't think this can happen? You, you, I mean, I mean, what the fuck? Don't be mad at me. I feel like it's an amazing conversation because, as naive as it may seem, you guys, okay, you don't learn in life off things your mother taught you all the time. You learn in life by your own grandeur mistakes and all of that shit. You feel me? So talking to two Ks should enlighten you on how the male mind works. Because it's a lot of these muff. It's a lot of two Ks lurking out here. It's a lot of them. <laughs> Good morning, family. Hey, two. What's going on with you? Get that nigga off the phone. <laughs> Hey, what, what happened? What he what he say wrong? What what he say that rough oh with your family? With your feathers? Oh my, dude! I swear to God, he sounds like that dude reincarnated. He that that Kevin Samuels or whatever. He sounds he sounds like Kevin Samuels reincarnated. Do you know how big Kevin Samuels following was with men and women? There's a lot of people that thinks like this. And that's why I think it's a great conversation to have. Because I think if it makes you angry, then you're passionate about it. And it's something that needs to be discussed. Now, let me ask you a question. What what was the top thing that pissed you off the most that 2K said? Of all that he just talked that kind of shit when he when he went against his vows to begin with and stepped outside of his marriage. Okay, if you let him that's first, and, that, that's first and foremost. Like I said, if you have the goal to propose to a woman, mm -hmm. tell this woman to her face that you want to be with her for the rest of her life and only her, mm -hmm. and you go before God and your family, and you say. You agree to keep only unto her? What the hell? Bruh, really? No. No. Because if you're supposed to be, like, I mean, I think it was you that said it. If he could all of a sudden be faithful now mm -hmm. that he done did before, where the fuck was that energy at first time? Facts. I mean, I, I agree. I agree. I I, I, be, I believe that sexual discipline has got to be practiced between both men and women. See, men always feel like that they're the only people that lust. And that's where I think they get a lot of shit wrong. Um, I feel like certain virtues that they have, we have too. The same way how sometimes women want to leave the house and go jump on some dick, I'm pretty sure they do too. But it's called sexual discipline, and I think that's what we have uh, a lot more versus men, but the thing about it is they're they're willing to I embrace sexual discipline once that chest get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Once they see a girl cry, once they come to a re realization that they hurt the woman that they've been saying that they loved all the time. I mean, they could be faithful then. So my whole thing is, is a choice. If you make a choice exactly. to be faithful now, you know what I'm saying? Because um, you witness hurting someone. Then you should just make the choice to be faithful once you ask somebody to be your wife. Because, see, that's where I believe where it gets a little bit crunchy at. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it is. It's a vow. And, and it's, it's not just with us. It's, it's God, too. It's a trident. And it's like I didn't understand that part. I don't understand that part. Once you do ask a woman to be your wife, then by that by all means, practice sexual discipline. You would do it once you hurt a woman. What's the difference? A choice is a choice. And and, and that's what is baffling to me. So I do understand that point. But however, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever been in a relationship with a man and wasn't cheated on that you know of? My my relationship before my husband was I got cheated on. I was like, I literally got cheated on. And the thing is, 
before I got married, every relationship that I was in, I laid down the three rules. And I said, if you cannot abide by these three, then you need to leave me the fuck alone. I don't like a liar. I don't like a cheater. And I don't like you stealing from me. Mm. I get it. Thank you for calling me. You cross those boundaries, your ass is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Period, point blank. You said you'll be in a house by yourself with pets before you let a nigga disrespect you. I will have myself, my pets, and a goddamn vibrator before I deal with some bullshit. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling in, sis. Thank you so much. Right, like you, said, have a good one. you too. <laughs> Who was that with the subs? I can't see it because I'm on a multi stream. But love a leash. What the fuck with the 25 gifted? Lord have mercy, we might hit this 3K. Love you, girl. Hey, can somebody write her name down so I can make sure I put on a tree? I got to do it, but this is getting very good. Now, listen. Um, 2K, if you're still in the comments, I want to know something. Do you think Russell Wilson has cheated on Sierra? <laughs> I want to know. Yo, y'all got to chill. I think... Let me let me let me let me let me explain something to y'all what I don't understand, right? Um, I feel like men, it's in the Bible. Regardless of the lifestyle that I that I live, I, I was raised by a great man, so it's 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 like it's in the Bible. Men are supposed to lead. And I just don't understand why. <sighs> Even in the even even back in the day, Granddaddy had etiquette. You know what I'm saying? Granddaddy did his dirt. Let's be real. I mean, that's why some things I do understand where you coming from, 2K. But it's just like, why do y'all feel like you don't feel like <sighs> what you did to your wife is more than just physical? And it's like the more I hear you talk, the more it seems like you almost really don't even resent what you do. And I think that's my problem that I have. No, why would he? Nobody wanted him before CC. He would be stupid to do so. He had a whole motherfucking fiance before CC. What the fuck is you talk about? <laughs> the nigga been with. Yo, yo, man. Listen. Listen. Women. I need to know. So, fuck it. Hold on. Let's not stray. I got to say something else about this Remy and Papu shit. So, now, just a minute ago, uh, Easy to Block Captain has entered the chat. Okay? He said, tell Pap to unblock me. I want to holler at you, duck. Okay? Now, Clarissa is also came in this bitch and was like, hey, Remy Ma, you was a fan of me. Stop playing. She posted... A message from January of 2020. Now, this was way before she was talking to her, but way before 2020, talking about, ah, I'm mad, hyped, love you, congrats on making history. You represent for all the brown girls from the bottom that had to fight. Goat, that's just what happens to be a woman. Now, this was something that Remy Ma sent her, okay? And she said, yes, indeed, love. You a boss and you real. I respect it, Okay. So this is finna get real crazy. I think we about to get some dope ass music out of this. You know what I'm saying? We should definitely have a diss track between Easy the Block Captain and Papoose. I've been waiting on that battle. I wish they don't make it physical. Just do give me that. Just do me that. Just do me that. You feel me? Just do me that. Now, Clarissa don't rap, but I think Remy, she's been in jail for eight years. I feel like she should be able to put some gloves on. Let's get a fight going between Remy and Clarissa. Now, I don't even want to do you like that, Remy. Nah, I seen this motherfucking girl spur against me and nah, she tried to fight Jake Paul. I don't want you fighting around. You know what I'm saying? We got to figure out a different activity for y'all to do. Because um, it ain't safe to have a shootout. It's not safe to box. Um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we could just have a, I don't know. Uh, or whatever. But listen. <laughs> I need to know right now, though. Still hit me up on the lines. We still got a little bit longer on the show. 678-235-4338. Is this giving bitter for Remy? Is, is this What is this giving to y'all? Hit me up on the phone. I want to know. 678-235-4338.
All I know is this shit is about to get ugly. And listen, Eric the Block Captain. And I say this with all of my heart. You know, I know you've been working out. I seen. I see Remy got you going through a whole makeover and shit. Because you got, you got knocked out once. Um, you can't do it again. It can't happen again, bro. You know what I'm saying? Two strikes, you out. But listen, bro. Just be very careful. I know you want to be able to protect your woman. I know you do. You know what I mean? But hear me out. You already got knocked the fuck out before, okay? And now you got to understand, bro, Pap is even more mad now. He's even more mad. He's pissed. You feel me? Remy on this motherfucker calling his girl ugly, spilling all his beans, and here you come. You should just be quiet, bro. You shouldn't even say nothing because why is your girl worrying about who this nigga is talking to on the phone? See, this is why everybody in the background got to be quiet because you still going to look corny. Because, nigga, your girl still got her husband living in, in, in their house. Shh. No. <laughs> I ain't underestimated Remy at all. I'm not underestimating Remy, but I'm just saying it's also ethics. You feel me to certain shit. I ain't under. I ain't under. Hey, listen, trust me. I'm not underestimating Remy. I I like Remy, but what I'm saying is that everybody just need to calm down. <laughs> everybody need to calm down and evaluate certain situations before you be getting all like that. For real, man. That's all I'm saying. It's like I don't want Remy. Remy that came too far. To have something like this just go haywire, you feel what I'm saying? Because I I don't think I don't I don't I don't think I don't I don't want to see. I just don't even want to see what might happen. You feel me? <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be real with you, shot it like nigga. Have you seen this bitch? <laughs> I'm not being funny at all, but I'm just saying, shot it like. I ain't know this was Pap Girl. I've been following shot. Hey, listen. I started, listen. I didn't even know this was the same girl that was knocking people out. I just started following her. She like Serena. She gonna knock a nigga out. Look at her arms. I'm just saying. I'm not saying that Remy can't hang. I'm just saying that I don't think Remy want to get, I don't think Remy want to do this. I don't think Remy want to do that. <laughs> listen. At some point, you got to use your thinking cap. No, nah, you already got easy to black captain. It ain't no need to prove no point. Don't know. You don't want to do that. Bro, I don't give a fuck how many people with me this shank. She don't want to go to toe to toe with this girl. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, shawty. Nah, Remy, stay home. You got to, you, where the golden child? Y'all all need to calm down. Easy black captain, calm down. You feel me? Because you are not winning right now. Okay? Move your girl out into your home or something because he's still at the crib making sandwiches and shit. Y'all all looking crazy. Shh, everybody. No. <laughs> no, nah, bro. It's a certain shit I ain't finna do. Now, come on. That's even me. I, it, fuck Remy. It's about being a woman. Okay? Listen to me. If me and Shamika is going through a spat. And she started dating Layla Ali. I'm going to understand that it's a certain virtue that I got to keep. Okay? I'm not finna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this bitch. Now, I might shoot her. <laughs> but, but, bitch, I ain't fighting you. So, think. Use your thinking caps. Because if you start acting brolic on these streets, you can bump into each other. And you don't want her to piece you without gloves. My nigga, that bitch better get you by nine piece chickens. Nah, bro. Leave her alone, Remy. Look, this is all I'm saying. <laughs> this is all I'm trying to say. Did motherfucker, do you see her neck? <laughs> you see Clarice's neck? You can't even put her in the headlock, Remy. And that's all the shit you was doing in jail. Like, leave her alone. You see her arms? <laughs> you can't even grab her. You can't do nothing. And then her thighs. You see her thighs? Let me show y'all her thighs. Y'all ain't understanding what I'm trying to say. Remy need to be smart about this. You feel me? That's all I'm saying. Girl, be smart. You don't got to prove nothing to nobody. Not at the end. Look at the girl's eyes. She's a thoroughbred. But that's why Remy mad. That's why Remy mad. That's why Remy mad. Because it's a comp. You ain't exposed nobody else in that man's phone. Only her. 
You feel me? But look at them arms and shit. Look at her neck. You feel me? She'll headbutt you to death. She'll punch you to death. And she don't just do boxing. Y'all ain't even understand. I think the bitch do Mai Tai, Tai Chi, or some other shit. You know what I mean? She in trees like spider monkeys and shit. Remy, sit that out. You don't need to do that. Drop a disc tape on all they ass and just go ahead with easy block captain. That's all I'm saying. That neck thick as hell. That shit thick, 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 thick. <laughs> she hey, you talking about I ain't fucking with nobody like that. Why you gonna do something like that? Listen, you don't gotta prove nothing to nobody in this world. And if I'm Remy, I ain't fucking with nobody with a neck like that. <laughs> Fuck that. Man, she, yeah, she do mixed martial arts and shit. So not only is she sucking me in the face, I'm going to get roundhoused? <laughs> no, nah, nigga, you got me fucked up. Remy, sit this out. Um, None to prove. Uh, you and Papoose. I think y'all should just meet each other at the courthouse and file. Because both of y'all really is not making no sense. And I'm just keeping it in the stack. Papoose said he requested a, a divorce. Papoose, let me tell you something. You don't request. <laughs> You asked her, she ain't gave it to you. You go down there and file, my nigga. That's that, that that's how you do it. You don't need her to file. You can go down there. You know what I'm saying? Go on down there now. You feel me? Because it's getting out of hand on this line. And I don't want Clarissa and I don't want Remy to be bumping into each other. That's like two nah, two bulls and we don't need none of that. And you know Remy will get domestic. You know, Clarissa hit her with two jabs. You know she lean back. You feel me? I just need this all to go good. You feel me? I, di I need to. Nick thick and cornbread. All your cornbread. Shut up, Remy. You know, I just think that people need to really be smart. But the thing about it is, um, she didn't have to call her ugly. Um, that's the only part that I did not like. Um, that's how I kind of felt like Remy was being a little bitter. It's like, damn, stay on papoose. Why you gotta call her ugly? And then when you look at her, she's not an ugly woman. She got a beautiful smile. Um, you feel me? She's self-made. Can't get mad at that. Um, she got a, a movie that just dropped. She got a lot of things. Her endorsements alone got her making many millions of dollars. Um, and 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 at that that got to be celebrated no matter what. You feel me? She over here with ghosts. She with everybody. You know, everybody loves her. Everybody respect the champ. So I just need I need Remy. Yeah, but is Remy still on probation? I hope she's not on probation. I don't think she on probation. But, no, I'm not hilarious. Natalie, I'm being so serious. Remy, listen. Listen to me, Remy. Just in case you stumble across this video. Talking to you, Rem. Stand down on this one. Stand down. Her neck. Brolic. Rem, Rem. Her neck. Thick. Cornbread. Don't fuck with her, Ram. Listen. Her legs. Horsepower. She could probably outrun a bullet. So that's what I'm saying. You're a little outnumbered here um, in, this, in this situation. I'm not saying that you can't do it. We just don't want you to. Um, you know, you ain't the same when you was leaning back. You could probably get a little winded. Your mother now. Let this go. This bitch here, she's thorough. You know what I mean? She be calling out niggas to box. I seen her spurring with a nigga get knocked out, get back up, and wanted to eat him. Listen, Rem, this is not your battle, okay? You and Captain Crunch, you know what I mean? Figure it out. Figure it out. Now, Captain Crunch, he already got knocked out, Rem. That's already kind of like a strike. I mean, you, Fat Joe, everybody looking at you, weird. You know what I mean? Because this nigga got knocked out. He's a terrible actor on Tubi. Ah, oh, terrible. I, I had to watch a movie. I watched the movie with him in it. Terrible. Out of Detroit. Help him. Okay? You're taking many L's. You do not want to get on the ring with Clarissa. All right? And take the last L that you... you... Somebody tell her. That's all I need nobody to do. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't want her in there with that horse. That horse power. Listen. Clarissa's beautiful. I feel like Remy was a little bitter. I don't feel like Remy thought that Papoose could pull somebody like her. I really think that she estimated the boy. Um, I think he did fall asleep um, on the phone with her. And let's be real. Um, 
when a man fall asleep on the phone with a woman, that's a little bit more intimate than a nigga fucking her. I'm just being honest. Be honest. Drop it down in the comments. If you came home, what do you think would piss you off more? If you came home and you caught your man fucking a woman, or you came home and you caught your man lovingly laying in the bed just tongue kissing a woman, what you think would piss you off a little bit more? Huh? I want to know. Drop it down in the comments, but it's some real true shit for your ass that piss Remy off. She said, nigga, you ain't fell asleep with me since I've been in jail. You falling asleep with the boxer? Huh? She started going through that phone looking for shit that was going to hurt her. See, that's the only thing I don't like, Ram. Eh? I know, but listen. She got every right to stay on her ground. And let me tell you something. This is where it gets a little bit different, LTJ. A boxer actually has to register their hands as legal weapons. I get that. But see, Remy's already a, 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 a offender. Everybody knows she popped somebody in broad daylight. That girl gonna say, I was fearing my life. I had to give her a two-piece sandwich. You see? You see? That's why I'm saying, sit it out. It ain't on your side. No, I'm dead ass serious. I'm not ad. I'm just being honest, bro. Like, that shit right there will fuck you up. So, I think she did. She came downstairs, seen that man on the phone, fell asleep with the girl. And she probably was all on the phone and she heard the phone moving. And she probably was like, bae. And Remy was like, bae. Bae. <laughs> and Shotty was like, ooh, abort. You knew it had to really piss Remy off, nigga. You was at, it was 4 o'clock in the morning when you was putting all that man business out. Come on, Shotty. I'm a woman, too. I know what it is. <laughs> I don't need her going back to prison. Nah. Shit. The fuck? I right, look. Look, look. I don't need that woman going back to prison. I'm scared of hell, man, for her. Shit. But what I do know is that uh, I think everybody need to just calm down. Straight up. I need everybody to calm down and relax. That's what I need everybody to do. Because it's, it's going to go left quick. For real. And I don't want that to happen. They might as well get back together. That's what I'm saying. Cheating is on. I want us to overcome getting worked up about it now. Everyone is for everyone. Protect your peace, queen. Hey, for real. Facts. I get it. I get it. I get it. They might as well get back together. Shit, let me see. Um, Tzatziki hands worth millions. She in the wrong industry. Like, hey, for real. Jay on soul. <laughs> that motherfucker's crazy as hell. I done seen her... Uh, she throws some hands or whatever, but no, all jokes aside, though, um, they was just celebrating. They got a daughter birthday coming up. I really hope this shit just die down. Um, I feel like at some point, calm this shit down. Um, it can go left real quick, and it's really no need. It seems like they both are in a place to where they're really ready to move on. Let's just go ahead and get to the courthouse and file and go ahead and get some shit in place. You feel me? Um... I know it's a terrible situation because you got kids and things like that, bro. But this right here can't be healthy. So somebody got to do something. Somebody going to have to go down there and file. Now, I don't know who going to file, but somebody need to. Hey, man, I love y'all, bro. Um, I appreciate everybody tapping into the show today, man. I appreciate everybody's input. This was crazy as hell. Um, y'all can go online right now, Instagram. I'm going to be back later, and we'll probably be uncovering some more stuff because they still going at it right now. Um, Eric, the block captain, has entered the chat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Clarissa, she's on full throttle mode. She's already asking for a fight, um, and it's just a lot of shit going on. So, yeah, go be nosy. Um and, yeah, I'm going to see y'all a little bit later on Reactments. You feel what I'm saying? We're going to be back. You know, we're doing 30 days. I want to say thank you so much to everybody who uh, just subbed. And I need the name of the person who just did the 25 gifted. I thank y'all so much. Man, y'all going crazy for it, nigga, and shit, man. Hey, listen, we tugging on alone, bro. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you to the new sub subscribers who uh, took some time out to come over to Twitch and hit that link and subscribe to the channel. Um, I don't even know where I'm at right now, but I know that we was pretty much close to the goal when I left last night um, or whatever. But I thank y'all, y'all, because I, I'm loving to see the new faces and shit. It's let me know that y'all loving with a nigga, y'all loving nigga and shit. But hey, uh, let me see here, let me see here, let me see here. Uh, let me see here, let me see here, let me see here. So yeah, we did hit the last goal, the, uh, the last goal. So the next goal is 1300. 
You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all so much. I didn't even see that shit. Thank y'all so much, man. We going after that 3,000. It's the 12th. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I think the goal on this channel was 2,600. So we going close as fuck as we can. Thank you so much, Drip Set. Yeah, feel me? Thank you, Drip Set, for real. And I'll be back later. Listen, we are doing vlogmas, man. And it's day 12, you dig? It is day 12. So we got 12 videos over there. So if you have missed... All the shit on the personal channel, go over there. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. Support me, man. Go over there. The personal shit is fun. And we really participating in vlogmas. We doing vlogmas shit, fun shit, all types of shit. Go over there and watch it. Day 12. You feel me? The video will be released, I think, at 8 o'clock. I put it on there. It's already ready to go. So go and watch that shit. Yeah, feel me? I love y'all family. I'm going to see y'all. I'm going to see y'all on Monday. We ain't back until Monday. Um, it's the Breakfast and Blood Morning Show. I appreciate all of y'all. Peace. It is.